Okay, we're all suited up, ready to go, getting ready to use the BVAC to take this swarm out. Just using a very little bit of pressure. Sometimes I have to adjust this pressure. It may be too little. Yeah, in this case it is. So what we do, we close the valve up a little bit. Let it increase the pressure to the end of the hose. And allow you to pull them off the top of the swarm. Just want to ease them off of there. Take your time, don't get in a big hurry. Remember, these bees are just hanging on to each other in a lot of cases. In this, in this case, they got, you know, the brick wall. In some cases, they're hanging from a limb, and the only ones that actually have contact with anything other than themselves will be the bees at the top. So you have to be real careful. You don't pull the whole beard off in the process of picking them up. But what you see me doing here is just what I'll, I'll continue doing for, the, you know, five or ten minutes or so, however long it takes, just to ease them off. Ease the bottom row off, basically. Just keep going off the bottom. You can see there's not a lot of pressure here. Watch when it tries to pull them off. They just finally give, they can't hold on to each other. The vacuum breaks their foothold. But that's it. That's swarm removal using a BVAC. Just got home from uh, taking the swarm out of uh, South Shreveport. I got my BVAC here. I don't have this thing set up, but the, the port here is where your hose goes in. This is how you regulate your vacuum. And the uh, vacuum motor goes here, so the vacuum pulls out this way. See a little bit later? There's a lot of heat coming off of that, and this is, you know, um, several, uh, it's probably probably 90 degrees in there, it feels like, but I, when I bring them home like this, I just leave them, leave them out, let them set a while, and, and uh, keep them in the shade until I put them up.